For those of you who are able to please remain standing for invocation offered by Andy Harrison, the Associate Pastor of Miami First Assembly of God, and please remain standing for the singing of the National Anthem and the state song, Oklahoma. Would you guys bow your heads with me, please? Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to gather together in one place for one graduation, scattered across this Auditor, this audience and all these students, Lord Jesus, are a lot of dreams. A lot of people have been dreaming to have their associates, and now they are moving on to a career, and many of them are dreaming of what's next. Lord Jesus, let this be the courage, this, this moment to provide the courage, Lord, for what's next. God, that they would take this and create motivation to move forward. God, when they have difficult moments coming up that they will have, that they would look back on the last two years that have just been unprecedented and think, if I made it through that, I can make it through anything. And so I ask you, Jesus, that you would just help them to remember these great years together. Remember, remind them of the ones that they studied with, the ones that they studied online with or in class with, these great relationships that they've uh, built. I'm sure that they can look around at each other right now and they think of the great relationships, God. And I just ask you, Jesus, that you would create uh, some amazing memories tonight for them. But Lord Jesus, most of all, create courage that this would just catapult them to their dreams. Let them fulfill their purpose and their passions for what they want to do. Now that they would always look back on this and keep them pushing forward for what's next. In your name we pray. Amen. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? Oh, we proudly we sail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Sure, smells 
sit alone and talk and watch a hawk making lazy circles in the sky. They know we belong to the land and the land we belong to is bad. And when they say, we know we belong to the You may be seated. Thank you, Mr. Harrison, for delivering our invocation, and Danica Rowe and Carly Jones for their performance of the National Anthem and Oklahoma. Red Robertson Field is located on the traditional territory of the Ottawa people. Today, the campus of Northeastern Oklahoma a and College and its surrounding areas are still home to members of nine federally recognized tribes and nations. This area is home to the Eastern Shawnee Tribe of Oklahoma, the Miami Nation, the Modoc Tribe, the Ottawa Tribe of Oklahoma, the Peoria Tribe of Indians of Oklahoma, the Quapaw Nation, the Seneca Cayuga Nation, and the Shawnee Tribe, and the Wyandotte Nation. Board of Regents, honored guests, we are glad that you are here today. And on behalf of Northeastern Oklahoma a and College, I take great pride and pleasure in welcoming you to our 100th commencement exercise. We're excited about having you on campus and hope you enjoy our as we celebrate our students. My name is Dr. Kyle Stafford, and I have the honor of serving as the 16th president of NEO and presiding over tonight's uh, commencement. To the graduates, it's a great pleasure for me, along with the rest of the NEO community, to be able to participate in this traditional ceremony, which marks the beginning of your life of a college graduate. I hope each of you understand you're at a point in life where every conceivable opportunity is open to you. Many of our graduates are first-generation college graduates, the first in their family to receive a college degree. We're very, we are very proud to be a part of this life-changing experience. This commencement ceremony is particularly significant due to what the world has faced this past year, dealing with the global pandemic. You, the class of 21, will always remember what you've accomplished. You will forever be known as the students wearing masks, but more importantly, the graduating class who persevered. No one sitting here today can say that they've attended college and completed a college degree during a global pandemic. Remember, no one can accomplish this goal alone. Let's take a moment to thank the parents, spouses, and relatives and friends for the important roles that they've played in helping you reach our goals. I'd also like to ask everyone to join me in expressing appreciation to our outstanding faculty members for their dedication and commitment to our students. What's amazing about this graduation, graduating class is it has a local, state, national, and even international flavor. Today's classes include students from 18 states across this country, four countries, in addition to our home graduates from our home state of Oklahoma, we have graduates from as near as Arkansas, Kansas, and Missouri, and student, uh, states as far away as Georgia, Florida, Michigan, and Oregon, and countries as far away as Poland and Spain. At this time, I'd now like to introduce our platform guests and ask that they stand as they're being introduced. Please hold your applause until we have all the guests introduced. Regent Rick Davis, Oklahoma a and Board of Regents. Dusta Grover, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Terry DeCoster, Vice President for Fiscal Affairs. Dr. Mary Booth, Department Chair for Agriculture. Joy Bauer, Department Chair for Business and Technology. Dr. Bert, Jeff Birdsong, Department Chair for Liberal Arts. Holly Sylvie, Student Body Government President. And Amy Ishmael, the Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management. One individual not on the stage this evening, but is very important to me, and that's my wife and the NEO First Lady, Kim Stafford. Let's give all these folks a big round of applause. Be seated. Gotta be seated. Thank you all for joining us to here this evening in person, 
which we're very appreciative of, and also those who are joining us via live stream. Certainly safe to say that when I stepped foot on campus of January of 2020, I didn't expect that my first commencement address would take place in May of 21. But thanks to the hard work and cooperation of our students, faculty, and staff, we're able to gather tonight and celebrate our graduates. As I stated earlier, I promise you'll remember this commencement for the rest of your lives. But I want to point out another reason that today is notable. Today we're celebrating the 100th commencement ceremony on this campus. That first graduation class 100 years ago only had three students. You, as you can see, we've grown just a little bit over the last 100 years. Tonight, though, we're really uh, here to celebrate you and your accomplishments. You've taken the steps to improve the lives of not only yourselves, but your families and your communities. A college education opens countless doors, and I commend you for putting in the time and effort it, it takes to earn a college degree. I look forward to presenting your degrees later in the program. Since 1943, Oklahoma a and Board of Regents has provided a de uh, dedicated services to Northeastern Oklahoma a and College. Their support is critical to the success of our institution. We are honored today to have a regent joining us, Regent Rick Davis, Chairman of the Board. Regent Davis from Guthrie, Oklahoma, is the managing part general partner of Davis Farms, a family-owned farming operation in Logan County, and ma managing general partner of Demet Hay, a hay production and real retail hay supply company located in Guthrie. Regent Davis has served on the Board of Regents since 2011 and has served as the chairman of the board in 2014 and 15. He's a tireless advocate for students, NEO, higher education in Oklahoma, and his unwavering support for passion and, and passion for education is greatly appreciated. It's my pleasure to ask Regent Davis to come forward and for welcoming remarks. Regent Davis. Thank you very much, President Stafford, and to our graduates this evening and to our family and friends that are here with the graduates, I just want you to know how very pleased I am that I'm able to join you on such a glorious evening, a uh, beautiful evening here in Northeastern Oklahoma for this occasion. And it's my privilege tonight on behalf of my fellow board members to bring greetings to each of you on your accomplishments that you're representing here tonight. President Stafford alluded to it. The sacrifice, the dedication, and in fact, the persistence that puts you in your chair this evening is something that's been unequaled in past years. And I also want to, again, as he did, compliment our faculty and our staff, our administration here that allowed us to get through this very challenging year and have the opportunity to recognize our graduates here this evening. I guess the message that I would leave you this evening on behalf of the board would be that we're grateful for this institution because we fully realize the impact that it has on Northeastern Oklahoma and as the president alluded to, on students from all around the country as well as from internationally. That impact is something that you can't underestimate. Graduates, tonight though, we are here to honor you. We're here to congratulate you on your achievement. We wish you nothing but success as you move forward. And again, greetings and congratulations from our board. It is now my pleasure to introduce our student body government president, Holly Sylvie from Bend, Oregon. Holly is planning to transfer to Texas A&M University to pursue a bachelor's degree in agriculture education. During her time at NEO, Holly has not only been an outstanding leader, she's also been a stellar student. Uh, recently recognized as one of the 2020 top 10 freshmen for her work during her first year at NEO, she is also being named the Agriculture Department's Outstanding Graduate. She's been active on campus as a member of the NEO Honors Program, the Aggie Society, and Young Farmers and Ranchers. She is a student of tremendous character, and I expect great things from her. Ladies and gentlemen, Student Body President, Ms. Holly Sylvie. I can take my mask off. Being raised in the high desert of Central Oregon, I've never been a fan of the rain. I know aside from contrary belief, not all of Oregon is rainy and dreary. I promised myself that I would never live in a place that received more than 12 inches of rain annually. <laughs> then I moved to Miami. As we all know, it sometimes seemed to rain 12 inches in one night here, and this was an extremely large change of plans for me. Often in life, we experience curveballs we never even see, whether it be a snowstorm, 
a flood, or a pandemic, we all must learn to adapt. In January, I began my first day in my horticulture class with Mrs. Allison Anderson. The, syllab the syllabus for the class included learning about the growing, cultivating, and selling of plants for our new greenhouse. With this in mind, we planted over 1,400 seeds in the middle of January with the hopes of moving them to our greenhouse at the end of February. Room 119 in Abel's became the interim greenhouse with lights, soil, and emerging seedlings everywhere. Our plan was in action until it wasn't. The peppers, tomatoes, and herbs that we planted began to emerge at the beginning of February when we found out that the greenhouse was yet to be finished, which was out of everyone's control, as always. With this in mind, we waited patiently, knowing that our growing seeds had a few weeks before they had to be transplanted. Then, February 14th arrived. Snowmageddon. As other students participated in snowball fights, making snow angels, and taking Snapchat videos of the white powder that engulfed the ground, the horticulture students were, became severely anxious. The doors to Abel's were locked, one, and they were severely frozen shut, two. After several attempts of pulling hot water and cries of frustration, we got into Abel's and took care of our plants. Phew, they were fine, we thought. Then the power went out. Our homemade, warm, luscious greenhouse in room 119 became cold and dark, which we would learn stunted the growth of our plants. After several days or weeks of us trudging through the snow, we began to resume class and we assumed that our plants were fine. We knew that these plants might have been durable for the snow, but we did not account for their flood susceptibility. After watering them so heavily, afraid that they would die from the cold, we killed over 600 of the seedlings and had to throw them away inside of Abel's. In addition to this, the snowstorm put the manufacturing of the greenhouse on a standstill and we learned it would not be complete until April. Needless to say, our syllabus was not being carried out, carried out in the ways that we had hoped. We were devastated. The hours, days, and months preparing to grow these plants had all gone to waste, or so we had thought. We knew that we, never had a, we would never have enough plants to correctly facilitate a plant sale, and we knew just what to do with the few adorable, sturdy, and healthy plants we had left. After wrapping them in ribbon and letters, we made the choice to travel around campus and present every faculty with a gift of thanks for our year. That we spent several hours and weeks with the hopes of a cash reward for the program, we handed them out with smiles and joy, knowing this class was never going to go the way we expected. So often in life, we find ourselves lost in the plan that we don't, that the change we don't account for throws us off of our game. This COVID year has been nothing but change for every single person on this planet. Plans have adjusted, lives damaged, and families broken. We have been lost at times without motivation to continue Zooming, as we find ourselves wanting to fall behind and quarantine from life. However, just as there was a way for the horticulture class to pull through and celebrate the disruption of plans, there are several ways that we can appreciate the transformation that we've experienced. We have grown as people as we value face-to-face -face contact now more than ever. We think twice before shaking hands and we make sure that our health comes first. We have adapted to the pandemic in more ways than one. We have learned how to positively make connections that will last a lifetime, not just in the season of disease. The, the strength gained from completing this year over any other is worth celebrating with more than just a durable ribbon wrapped plant. The depth of our education inside the classroom is just merely the beginning of what we've learned about connections, relationships, and work ethic. Yes, it's Zoom that keeps us safe, but it's hands-on in the soil that maintains our ambition to continue moving forward and cultivate tradition and education. It's been a difficult year, but as students and faculty, we have grown from the experiences and have been able to band together in celebration of overcoming. Just as our horticulture class learned how to adapt this year, we have been educated how to grow plants, cultivate long lasting relationships, and sow memories that will last a lifetime. No, I've never been a fan of the rain, but I know that I'm not alone in my larger hatred for change. This year we've learned how to develop grit and gratitude for every curveball that's been thrown our way. And for that, we have been prepared for whatever may appear on the horticulture syllabus of life. 
This year, the faculty has trudged through the snow, screened with frustration, and nurtured our brains for success, despite the circumstances. Though other schools may have fallen behind, as the graduating class of NEO, we know their efforts have developed us into durable, resilient, and brilliant individuals, and have propelled us into our future, future past these setbacks. We could not be more grateful for those who have cultivated us through these difficult times, watered our potential, and wrapped a ribbon at the end to ensure that we are valued members of society. Congratulations, Class 2021. We made it. Thank you, Holly. At this time, our academic department chairs will present awards to the outstanding students from each school. Presenting the School of Agriculture and Natural Sciences, Dr. Mary Booth. Thank you, Dr. Stafford. Um, and it is my pleasure to present uh, the outstanding graduate from the college or the School of Agriculture and Natural Sciences. And uh, with that, I'd like to call up um, this year's recipient, Ms. Holly Sylvie, to be named the outstanding graduate from the School of Agriculture and Natural Sciences. Holly. Presenting for the School of Human and Environmental Science is Ms. Joy Bauer. Again, thank you, Dr. Stafford. It is my pleasure to present awards to the outstanding graduate from the School of Human Environmental Science. As I call your name, please come forward. Um, the outstanding graduate from the School of Human, in, Human Environmental Science is Cassandra Holt, nursing free BSN. Presenting for the School of Liberal Arts is Dr. Jeff Birdsong. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Stafford. It is my pleasure to present the award to the outstanding graduate from the School of Liberal Arts. As I call your name, please come forward. The outstanding graduate from the School of Liberal Arts is Seton Thomas, a general studies major. from Pryor, Oklahoma. Tonight, we have Faculty Senate President Steve Dixon and President-elect Calvin Baker Becker introduce our graduates. At this time, it's my pleasure to ask the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dustin Grover, to come forward. Thank you, Dr. Stafford. I think it's about time to graduate, isn't it? Will the graduates of the School of Agriculture and Natural Sciences please rise?
Will, will Dr. Mary Booth please come forward to present the graduates for conferring their degrees? Yes, and with great honor. President Stafford, Mr. Grover, honor guest, Board of Regents, distinguished faculty, staff, and parents. On behalf of the faculty of the college, or I keep saying college, School of Agriculture and Natural Sciences of Northeastern Oklahoma A&M College, I take great pleasure in presenting the graduating class of May 2021. The students have completed all requirements for the appropriate degree, and as the chair of the Agriculture Department, I recommend them to you. Upon completion of the academic requirements for this degree and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents for Oklahoma A&M Colleges and the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, it is my privilege to certify and bestow upon you this associate degree and to extend you all the rights and privileges associated with this achievement. Will the School of Agriculture and Natural Sciences graduates now move your tassels from the right to the left? which is a symbolic of the successful completion of your course of study and prepare to receive your diploma. Tegan Parker. Jewel Bebelheimer. Haven Kimmick. Dan Baker. Clayton Lester. Mackenzie Crow. Nicole Lee. Kaylin Flaherty. Layton Bridgewater. Lincoln Hart. Laney Taylor. Caleb Fiddler. Caleb Walmsley. Wyatt Helms. Norman Heifel. Levi Perry. Carter Kalmus. Alexandria Baker.
Michaela Baker. Delaney Curtis. John Good. Carson McLean. Ismail Trejo. Nicholas Harrison. Ryan Gibson. Alexandria Griffin. Laura Biggers. Callie Whitlock. Taylor Barber. Whitman Abbott. Matthew Breedlove. Yep. Leah Marquez Urista. Lexi Coleman. Hannah Shazri. Emily Long. Henry Dean. John Fudge. Michaela South. Elizabeth Hokett. Julie Brannon. Keith John Sherwood the second Griffin Passmore Nicholas Brewer Joy Malone Jacob Reed. <laughs> Rashawn McCain. Cole Dixon. Armando Rodriguez.
Hannah Kane. Cheyenne Votava. Alexis McCullough. Cole Hammonds. Charles C. Gatewood. Nathan Littlejohn. Victoria Harris. Caleb Lundstra. Riley Smith. Holly Sylvie. Take care, man. Ryan Rosher. <laughs> Justin England. Garrett Hayes. Katie Richards. Will the graduates of the School of hum Human Environmental Science please rise? Will Ms. Joy Bauer come forward to present the graduates for conferring their degrees? President Stafford, time out. <laughs> Mr. Grover, honored guests, Board of Regents, distinguished faculty, staff, and parents. On behalf of the faculty of the School of Human Environmental Science of Northeastern Oklahoma A&M College, I take great pleasure in presenting the graduating class of May 2021. The students have completed all requirements for the appropriate degree, and as the chair of the Business and Technology Department, I recommend them to you. Upon completion of the academic requirements for this degree and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents for Oklahoma A&M Colleges and the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, it is my privilege to certify and bestow upon you this associate's degree and extend you all to you all the rights and privileges associated with this achievement. Will the School of Human Environmental Science graduates now move the tassels from right to left? Symbolic of your successful completion of your course of study and prepare to receive your diploma.
Nikita Konstantinovsky. Shane Scruggs. Grayson Lassiter. Patrick Kudovic. Mackenzie Barnes. Rosa Garcia. Stephanie Aguilar. Catherine Smoke. Catherine Delgado Lopez. Kaylee Brewster. Dallas Bilar. Courtney Russell. Gavin Klaus. Tori Boyd. Madison Greenwood. Okay. Stuart Yeakley. Maite Rodriguez. Hold on, hold. Heather Downey. <laughs> Mia Moss. Riley Cisneros. Janie Adams. Jesse Ishmael. Haley Haskell. <laughs> Callie Godfrey. Hannah Burnett. Rebecca Bell. Britton Clark. Caitlin Ricky. Melissa Rodriguez. Kristen McQuesten. <laughs> Scott Cronister. Right, 
Maggie Osborne. Nicholas Cochran. Lisa Robbins. Cheyenne Hamilton. Terrence Crush. <laughs> Jaden Graves. Chris Ibarra. Ashley Carnes. Haley Holcomb. Callie Froman. Callie Ward. Jillian Rose Swanger. Dylan Dollar. Brett Larry. Michael Marquez. Lauren Woodside. Logan Sean Christopher Heinen Aubrey Lambertson Paige Simpson. Reagan Benny. <laughs> Kayla Wilson. Kisa and Boswe. <laughs> Diana Guzman. April Bell. Shauna. Frizzell. Courtney Nugent. Madison Fee. Molly Loomis. Woo! 
Peyton Moreland. Tashana Miles. Mahogany Johnson. Damon Black Fox. Tierra Arnold. Sasha Leatherwood. Lauralee Wilcox. Callie Bell. Cassandra Holt. Sarah Victoria Bilkey. Grace Catherine Chaffee. Stacy Nell Keen. Kimberly Qualls. Jessica De La Vega. Kirsty Hudson. Shelby Gandy. Damaris Gonzalez. Misty Nowlin. <laughs> Vanessa Hernandez. <laughs> Mia McCool. <laughs> Victoria Winters. Kayla Turley. <laughs> Melanie Chambers. <laughs> Blaine Mib. <laughs> Cassandra Vineyard. Julia View. Emery Trey Thompson, Jr. Jackson Young Brantley. Ready, Mustafa Rai. Danwell Oscar. <laughs> Hope. 
Hong Leong Lee. Caitlin McGee. Melissa Amos. Jacob Wallace. Haley Sherrod. Ying Lee. Christian Knighton. <laughs> Lucas Montgomery. Xavier Billings. Shelby Young. Jordan Blom. Ariana Rivera. Kevin Esculin Cruz. Sarah Rexwinkle. Nicholas Andres. Jasmine Close. <laughs> Alaniz Ruiz Rivera. Jasmine Young. Georgia Young. Julia Bruner. Logan Hall. Nolan Solly. Dayton Fields. Stacy Manning. Madison Gilman. Brittany Sturgeon. Allison Sturgeon. Clarissa Walters. Adrian Lucas. Yeah. 
Will the graduates of the Human Environmental Science please be seated? And will the graduates of the, human, the School of Liberal Arts please rise? I'll ask Dr. Jeff Birdsong, please come forward to present the graduates for conferring their degrees. All right. President, President Stafford. President Stafford, Mr. Grover, honored guests, Board of Regents, distinguished faculty, staff, and parents. On behalf of the faculty of the School of Liberal Arts at Northeastern Oklahoma A&M College, I take great pleasure in presenting the graduating class of May 2021. The students have completed all requirements for the appropriate degree, and as chair of the Liberal Arts Department, I recommend them to you. Upon completion of the academic requirements for this degree and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents for the Oklahoma A&M Colleges and the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, it is my privilege to certify and bestow upon this associate degree and to extend you all the rights and privileges associated with this achievement. Will the School of Liberal Arts graduates now move your tassels from right to left, which is symbolic of the successful completion of your course of study, and prepare to receive your diploma. Bailey Dart. Tatum Tibbles. Brianna Cox. Cassandra White. Hannah Simpson. Madison Gardner. Hannah Bennett. Kendra Dollison. Nancy Weathered. Thatcher Smalley. Jamal Morris. <laughs> Shelby Hubbard. Abby Ishmael. Karis Clark. Lauren Lovitz. Yeah. 
Susan Rice. Connor Rice. Libby Thomason. Mackenzie Boatman. Haley Holloran. Emma Lee Fields. Gavin Clay. Katrina Ball. Morgan Labatt. Destiny Brigman. Jillian Brunert. Alana Browder. Sadie Monfort. Janie Zavala Lopez. Christina Moa. Samantha Murphy. Amber Hart. Cheyenne Petty. Mary Collins. Nicole Dingle. Darian Miles. Arissa Henry. Emily Patterson. Laney Goldner. Brianna with him. Reagan Alsbaugh. Seton Thomas. Peyton Smith. Andrew Allen. Shelby Christie. Alfred Fry. Bailey Fullerton. Congratulations. 
Kristen Ryder. Lindsay Smith. Angela Morgan. Deborah Thomas. Austin Pittman. Phoebe Joseph. Arthur Evans the third. Talia Nava. Michael O'Nevins. Noah Han. Nate Bryant. Rylan McCorders. Kenya Walker. Seth Sarasua. Blake Gonzalez. Ada Tucker. Alexandria Brinson. Yeshua Bell. Over under is what? Okay. Any old graduates, please stand and face your family and friends. It's with great honor and distinction for me to, to present the 2021 graduates of Northeastern Oklahoma and M College. Congratulations once again to the graduates of the class of 21. We wish you the best of luck in your future. Please stand everyone for the recessional.
Thank you. 